Hello to our parents, carers and children of Amethyst class. My name is Miss Swire. Before we get started on our Meet the Teacher presentation, I'd like to start by saying a big well done to every single child in Amethyst class. You've absolutely amazed me with the standard of your work and your attitude towards learning. Well done. Okay, welcome to Meet the Teacher. As I mentioned before, my name is Miss Swire and I'm teaching in Amethyst class. Our lower key stage two phase leader is Mr. Paul. At Elaine, we recognise the importance of attendance and punctuality. This is because we're encouraging all of our children to strive for excellence. For a child to achieve their full potential, a high level of school attendance and punctuality is essential. Together, we're consistently working towards the goal of 100% attendance for every single child. This is because research has shown that even from an early age, children who have poor attendance and punctuality are less successful in their later life. We're hoping that we want to give all of our children here at Elaine the very best start and hope that in the future, they're going to be developing these good habits also. Our expectations around uniform also work towards our value of excellence. This is because it gives all of our children a sense of belonging. Please make sure that your children come in the correct school uniform. This is, all shoes need to be plain black, all polo shirts and jumpers should have the Elaine logo on. PE kits should be the Elaine PE t-shirt and shorts. Children should also have black plimsolls or trainers for PE. Given the new guidance, PE kits should be worn into school on PE days. Please ensure your children also has outdoor PE kit, including jumper, black leggings or jog jogging bottoms. All of this uniform can be purchased from our uniform supplier, who are based in Chatham. If you need any help with this, please get in, in touch with the office and they'll be more than happy to help. Our expectations around reading is that it is a vital part of your child's education. At school, all children have access to a wide range of books, both in their classroom and in the school library, which they encourage to take home and read. Children will also be given a reading log, which, which should be filled in with a comment from their parent or carer each time they read. This will allow us to have that dialogue between home and school to ensure that the children are having the best opportunity for reading in both situations. We encourage that all children should be reading at home for at least 15 minutes. In school, children also take part in guided reading activities every day. Once a week, they will read with a teacher in a guided reading group and some children also have access to intervention groups to help with their reading. Our curriculum for year four is really, really exciting. We have a wide range of topics that we'll be learning this year, including aid, journeys, conservation, endangered species, managing emotions and disability. We'll be looking at a wide range of texts, including ASEAN in Between, The Vanishing Rainforest, Wonder and many more. Children will also be taking part in investigations in science and problem solving in maths. They'll have the opportunity to take part in theme days based around their topics and will also be taken on a variety of educational visits, including London Zoo. Our expectations within the classroom echoes Elaine's value of excellence. We have very high expectations for our children. They should always be following the golden rules and showing our school values. This is that children come to class ready to learn. They show kindness and respect to their peers and adults. They follow instructions given by adults in the school. The children are responsible for their own behavior and that they listen and complete their, their learning within the lesson. Our behavior system is called Good to be Green, which all children at Elaine follow. Children who say green all week will be given a certificate saying they have been green all week to celebrate them upholding the Elaine values. We ensure that we use positive language to encourage pupils to stay on green. This includes reminding them of the school rules, values and motivating them to try their very best. Our expectations around homework is also high and ensure that we are striving towards that value of excellence. 
Children will be given homework once, per, uh, once a week on a Friday and it is due back that following Wednesday. Homework sent home will enable your child to review and practice the skills that they have learned this week. Homework will include English, maths, spelling and timetable practice. They should be completed to the same standard as work that is done in class. Children should write in pencil and underline or cross out work using a ruler. Over term holidays, the children will be given a project to complete at home and these will be due on the first day back following the break. Any questions surrounding homework, please do get in touch with myself. We also have a look at how we can be helping your child at home as well. So encouraging your child to talk about their learning at home can help develop their speaking, listening and oracy skills and helps them to keep their learning fresh in their mind. Being able to go to the local library and read books on interests and topics that they've been learning about at school will help children to develop the ideas of books that they are also interested in. Research together using books on the internet to find out interesting facts on a topic, so something that might particularly interest them as an individual. Encourage your child to read daily at home and complete their homework and have that fun about reading at home as well. Keep your child active by going to the park, taking a walk in the evening or practicing PE skills that they have learnt at school and taking those home. Lastly, we also have a Twitter account, which is at Amethyst EPS. We share all of our learning on here and all of the great things that Amethyst class are doing. So please, if you're on Twitter, please do give us a follow. Lastly, if you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to get in touch with either myself or Mr. Paul. I hope to see you all soon. Bye.